Hello and welcome to another edition of Depth of Field. My name is Eric and this week, very special guest and someone who has a name very similar to me, just add an A, it's Erica. And we did not call each other today. Look at, look at this, this was, uh, this was pretty awesome. Yeah, Great we'd already chosen our clothes when we spoke. <laughs> this is Erica Deutschman, uh, powerhouse performer, um, ah. uh, star of many movies, uh, TV shows. You, you're also in video games. <laughs> and my guest, today, and you just won a huge award. Yeah. Well, or, or well, this you was won like a, a contest. Prize, a contest, really. Just for laughs. It was a free gift in a cereal box. No. I, <laughs> I used to love. That. Listen, I used to buy. Did you like dig? You would buy the cereal box and then just dig yes. to the bottom. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I forget about the cereal. No, or cracker yeah. jacks. Did you ever actually uh, eat Cracker Jacks? Yes, I love Cracker Jacks. You I would do? still eat a bag of Cracker Jacks if there was one lying around. Someone get us some Someone Cracker Jacks. Someone get us some Jacks. Cracker Jacks. <laughs> so uh, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to talk about movies. We're going to talk about geek stuff. We're going to do a little bit of trivia. Um, maybe we'll even play doppelganger. Uh, who's your fa your celebrity doppelganger? Which I think I have one for you. I think I know who people probably say you love. This like. might be the easiest game you've ever played. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and you guys should also write in. So if you have, uh, you know, if you're on the chat, if you have questions, if you have feedback, anything you want to say, let us know, and we'll interact, we'll have some fun. Uh, so you are originally from Montreal. I am. But you now live in Toronto. Correct. And uh, you were in town for, or you, you are in town for Just for Last, which just ended. Yes. Just for Last is the comedy festival. Uh, how was it? Good. Well, first of all, everyone always goes, oh, you're in town for Just for Laughs. Like, do you have a show? Are you a comedian? I'm like, no, I'm just here to pitch and talk to people. Was it your first year? Second year. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it, like, I had such a great experience last year that I said, I have to come back. So I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I'm here. And uh, yeah, this year it was great. American High was the contest I won. So um, break this down for us. Yeah. Okay. So it was like, the first year they did it, mm -hmm. so I don't think anyone knew what was going on and what they were doing, which worked to my advantage. Um, at 30 people pitched, 30 seconds on stage. They tried to distract you with like whistles and horns. Oh, it's like a, it, it's, it's, it's a game. It's you have kind to, of a game. It's almost like Fear yeah. Factor where instead of having like... Um, Snakes, it's whistles. <laughs> right, and, and they're distracting you and you have to just be as focused as you can. Yeah, yeah. So yes, yeah, because you have 30 seconds to basically pitch a whole movie. Um, well, you were so. pre-selected. Right? Pre yeah, sure. I was pre-selected, even though, as it turns out, that doesn't matter. Like, okay. Everyone showed up anyway. They were like, oh, yeah, anybody can you can get. And, like, they had it in, like, the grand salon, like, where they have the award show, like, for oh, the big people. So, you know, I was like, there were, like, 20 people <laughs> maybe watching. So, I mean, it's... It was a small audience, but it was still very stressful. No, I um, met a bunch of people who were there, who were who like, were there? "Are you going to the to the high school oh, oh, uh, okay. pitch thing?" Okay, so some people went, That's and I good, know yeah. some people who even pitched. And then I was like, "I know who won." And they're like, "Oh yeah, she won," but you know, my, mine was pretty good too. But uh, <laughs> well, I'm not gonna know. No. Um, yeah, so <laughs> they, they narrowed it down to five after the initial thirty seconds, and then they narrowed it down to two. How many were in the first round? Thirty. 30 for yeah. 30, basically. 30 for 30, yeah. yeah. And I don't think they planned that, because okay. a lot of people showed up and came up with ideas, like, I think, while they were sitting in the audience. Oh, shit. I'm you gonna... didn't have to have any material? Well, I mean, not really. Like, like you didn't have to have a, a one-pager or a treatment? I had a one-pager. That's what I submitted. That's what they said I, like, was selected for. So mm -hmm. I was like, great. Oh, my God. Well, I guess it worked. I guess it made sense, because it was the best one, but um, <laughs> it was subjective. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, yeah, a lot of people didn't have any material. Like, there was a girl who was, who was, was selected for the top five who was like, I don't have any idea. I just came up with it on the spot. And I was like, okay. And did it, did it, have, did it hold any water? Or was well, no, just... because she lost. She lost. Right. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm sure they were, like, so the, then they chose five. Yeah, so then they chose five. I think they knew her. Maybe it was, uh, like, uh, you know, a uh, connections thing. But, yeah, then after the... Nepotism. you Basically. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, then, so there were, it was down to five. Then you got two more, you got two minutes to elaborate. And then you had, then we were down to two, and then we had five minutes. So... Five minutes. Five minutes. It was kind of like a, like a pitch battle by the end of it. Like, there was a guy who was, you know, trying to, like, diss mine, and I was like, can we talk about that? Yeah, we please. Yeah, because I, I, I recall afterwards you told me about, um, uh, well, th there was an exchange on stage yeah. that, that backfired on the guy a little bit, right? Uh, yeah, it's just like, I, well, I hope he's not watching. I don't remember his name, so I guess. <laughs> Screw him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, all the women afterwards came up to me and they were so angry. They were like, 
the first nice thing you said about your pitch was that you're pretty. And I'm like, oh, God. Well, yeah, I didn't notice. I like, was in a black hole and couldn't hear anything. So I like, ah, that's crazy that that happened. But did he, so he actually said something, something along the lines of, okay, she's pretty and all, but. No, it was more like she, they were like, now say something nice about the, the other person's pitch. Uh -huh. So he, like the first thing he said, it wasn't like about the story or anything. Okay. He's like, she's a good looking girl. <laughs> like, oh, that's not that bad then. So maybe he was just trying to butter you up. Well, yeah, but I think it you know it didn't work to his advantage. Finally, I think he was supposed to talk about the story. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> so the problems within our industry. <laughs> so it was this. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, so the the contest was it was called American High, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the production company. That's like, the name of the that's production. That's actually company. the name of the production. And they bought a high school. Yes. In Syracuse, New York. Correct. And the idea is people had to pitch. So they they basically create it's like a build it and they will come. They they bought a high school and they wanted people to pitch a movie that takes place in a high school so that they could film it at the high school. That's that they right. Bought. Yeah, but they're like they're doing really well. Like they've done they did they did five last year and they're doing eight more this year. Movies? Yeah, like they're a machine. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, one of them I, one of them was called Banana Split. I think they went to Sundance or something. Wow. Like yeah, they're like they did great. And then one of them has Pete Davidson. It. I don't know if it's the same one. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, no, okay. they're like hot. And and um, the main guy, Jeremy Gerlich, like he's kind of, he did the breakup and the wedding ringer. And so oh, he's, really? yeah, like he's a big deal. So now I know you as Which an makes actress, me right? a big deal. Well, I, so are you going to star in the movie too? Uh, well, if, if they think I can pull 18 years old off, then fine. Why not? My age, that's why not. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a youthful glow. Great, good. Yeah. I'll use that to my advantage. There's also like old people parts, so I could play. Oh yeah, you're too. old. Yeah, yeah I'm so old. Get the cane. <laughs> um, you could, couldn't you write yourself a part? Like you're the. Kind I did. Of... Yeah, the best friend. Yeah. Oh really? Because okay. you know the vampire's 18, but well, she's actually 20. We don't oh right. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this uh, here was my pitch. Uh, vampire Bianca Katz goes back to high school after a 10 year stint as a celebrity vampire. I should clarify, she's a vampire. She's not just playing one. Um, and you know she goes back because her career's over. Is she a scary vampire or an awkward totally vampire, like, or like just a regular person? Well, she was turned when she was 18 years old, like right at the height of the vampire craze. Like Twilight had just come out. Like she's like, oh my god, I need to capitalize on this, so I'm gonna go become a reality v vampire star. A real okay. Yeah. Is she the only one of her kind, or is there like it's just normal? It's a that world there's... where like vampires exist, okay. but like she's the first like hot shot vampire. Usually they like keep to themselves. Okay, so yeah. they've all been kind of living in their small community and Correct. she breaks out and exactly. becomes a celebrity. Yeah, okay. yeah. Not that she was living in that community before. She just got turned, but yeah. Then 10 years later she has to go back to school to... How did she get turned? Oh, she met a friendly stranger on the bus right after the Twilight premiere where um, like he happened to look kind of like Robert Pattinson and she thinks it's like love at first sight and she's like, oh my God, this is it. He's going to kiss me. And then he bites her neck and disappears. Are you obsessed with vampires? No. Like, do you have any no. kind of? No, it's a, it's like kind of making fun of the genre, really. Okay. It's like, it's, it's sure, it's a love letter, but it's really just like <laughs> right. a spoof. <laughs> okay, so she, she was a reality vampire, yeah. and then she decides to go back to high school. Yeah, because you know the trend's over, and then she gets a DUI, and it turns ugly. She nearly kills a cop because she's a vampire, and so then she goes, I need to start over because it's going to be a long obviously long life because she's immortal right. uh, if she doesn't get a, a job like a real career you know fall, so a, a fallback plan so she's trying to juggle regular life stuff and immortality and vampire things yeah it's really less about her trying to grapple with the fact that she's a vampire this happened a long time ago okay. like she's lived with it for a long time now she just has to like redo high school basically that's that's the main story and now you have to write this. So you, you won the pitch. I won the pitch. And uh, they asked if I had a script. I said yes. Uh -huh. I'm currently writing it. <laughs> well, we could crowdsource it. I would so love that. If you guys any are ideas? out there and you have some ideas, are there any parts of the, you know, are there things that we need to. I have a very clear outline, but if there's anything that would be like funny, maybe that would add to the story. Yeah. Just like, what would a 28 year old and an 18 year old body who goes back to high school do? What could happen? Gotcha. <laughs> like a little Freaky Friday-ish? 
Kind of, yeah. but no, because she's like been in this body since she turned. She just right. looks young forever because that's when she turned. Oh, right, because she's yeah. 28, but she looks yes. young. Yes. Sorry, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not up to Catch date on my... Catch up, right. keep up. No, she, uh, and then she tries to reconnect with her like 28-year-old friend now because mm -hmm. like who teaches at the school and she's like, this is weird because you look old now. <laughs> so if you were to compare it, like what's the tone? If you were to compare it to something. Uh, well, we did talk about this earlier in the week. Um, my favorite original spoof movie of all time is not another teen movie. Right. Maybe a little more intellectual than that, but still like full spoof. Okay. Like I watched Twilight recently just to be able to like make fun of it. Can I say, so, oh, you're, you're almost doing to Twilight. Has that not been spoofed It's yet? definitely been spoofed, but this isn't called Not Another Vampire Movie. Okay, this is called right. The Revamp. <laughs> and I was sure when you mentioned, uh, oh, we have uh, a comment from Elizabeth Neal, who says, depending on where it's set, there could be some comedy with the legal drinking age. Like, what's the deal there? Uh, ah. It's set in New York, because ideally that's where we would shoot. Right. So that is very funny, and that is definitely something I've thought about, because she's technically 28. Right. But she's not legally, she doesn't look like she can legally drink in the States. Okay. Yeah. I think we have some. Okay, good. Guys, keep them coming. That's yes, perfect. Yes, thank you. And have, have I made a decision on that? No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, everything's open right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what was it like when they announced that you were the winner? I, honestly, like, I really wasn't hearing anything. It was just, like, at this black hole. Because it's stressful. Like, it's not just, like, oh, my God, am I going to win? It's also, like... I'm on a stage and people are like watching me talk and I don't even know what I'm saying. So, um, you know, then they were like, vampire. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, seriously? Like, are you sure? Like, anyway, it worked out. Uh, they gave me a thousand dollars. Is it one of those giant checks? It was an envelope. Oh. And there was no check. They owe me money. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Just for laughs. We need to have a talk. Yeah, I'm going to hunt them down and break some kneecaps. <laughs> I know a couple of guys. Great, great. I don't have to do it myself. I don't want to get my hands dirty. <laughs> I have a script to write. <laughs> right, exactly. Is that, is, so is that what you... I mean, uh, you know, amongst all the other acting stuff, do you now have to uh, find time to, to dedicate to the... Yeah. It sounds like a huge project yeah. that you have to do now. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to set aside, like, a large chunk of my day to just get that done so that it seems like I have a script right. to them. Are you, are you, do you procrastinate? Like when uh, you've got the, the I computer. I work best under pressure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like this is, this is me, this is the result of me procrastinating. <laughs> like I should have written it before. <laughs> right, exactly. The, the idea was there. Well, you didn't know you were going to win. No, I know. And why so. put in the effort? Why put don't? in the effort? Exactly. It's true. So here I am. <laughs> I'm here instead of writing, so you know that's a bad sign. Well, is there like a due date or anything? Um, not really. I just have to follow up with them about my cash. So when when I do that, I'm gonna also be like, here's my script, make it. And then what happens? Then like, do you have to deal with? Then I get famous and and, um, famous. and I never have to worry ever again. Is that what you're looking for? That's do, it. Do, do you want the kind of life? Do, are you? Do you want the easy life? Yes, who doesn't? <laughs> I, uh, no, so, some, people wanna, some people love the craft. Mm -mm. No? No. Can no. I say bad words? Yeah. Fuck the craft. Fuck the craft, eh? Okay, <laughs> hashtag fuck the craft. <laughs> no, I love it. It's great. I'm an artist. But, um, yeah, no, and I don't think that's how things work. You know, I don't think after one movie that's, that's, uh, that's it. Well, one movie? Let's, let's talk about your many movies. Yeah, right, but if you write it, then it's a, it's a oh, whole thing. Oh, that's a different story. Then right. I'm Lena Dunham, and, you know. Is that, the, is that who you aspire to be? <laughs> um, that really just came up off the top of my head. I'd never really given it much thought, but hey, why not? Well, tell me, so who do you aspire? Okay, forget Lena Dunham Okay, for a okay. Who else? Is your, you know, who inspires you in that sense? Well, you know, I'm struggling between, like, um, let's say, like, I remember reading about Eva Longoria going to, like, going to L.A. and, like, booking a soap opera, like, the second she landed, and, like, the rest was history. Like, she didn't really have to struggle at all, which nope. sounds great. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, you know, I love the idea of writing, directing, like all the stuff. So I don't know, somewhere in between there. Somewhere between no struggle at all and lots of struggle. Well, I'm <laughs> of the opinion that if you, if you rise really fast, mm -hmm. the fall can be really bad. Yeah, so, I mean, I won't name names, but like, you know, kid, people who I know who worked a lot when they were younger, mm -hmm. like, and then they kind of struggle. Do you want struggle. to name names? No, this, I, is, this no. is the place to do Wait, it. No, they're friends. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, no. Um, but like, just people who, you know, like, did really well and then kind of don't do as well, I think that's I don't very know difficult. Any child actor who 
who turned out well adjusted. <laughs> Although we did have... Except Macaulay Culkin. Oh yeah, no, he's <laughs> Yeah, he's right, solid, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we did have, guys, remind me, I'm, I'm blanking on his name. Um, the, 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 the youngest... Jamie Mayers. Yes, uh, Jamie Mayers. Yeah, he was awesome, and he's, uh, he's what, 19? 21. 21, okay. And, but he got to start really young. Do you know seemed... him personally? Do you know him personally? Okay, because I was like, how do you know this person's age off the top of your head? Well, <laughs> my team Impressive. is very good back then. <laughs> uh, hey, let's talk about... Okay, okay wait, 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 okay. No. okay, wait, wait. Oh, we're, yeah, we're still right. talking about... So, um, who are your, uh, your inspirations? Um, Other than Eva Longoria. Eva Longoria, Longoria obviously. <laughs> what has she been up to? I don't know. Um, but... She produces and writes now. Yeah, okay. see? Yeah. See? She's great. She's doing great. Um, but no, uh, inspiration. Um, sorry, aspire to be or... Yeah. Or both, okay. Um, you know, Olivia Wilde. She's cool. One, super cool. Two, super pretty. Three, married to Jason Sudeikis. Four, now she's like directed this hilarious. Which I haven't seen. Oh no, uh, it is. Uh, Book uh, what's smart. the movie? Uh, Book smart. No, yeah. I, did I see that? Yeah, that's the. the, the I would two. hope you'd remember. <laughs> no, because I get mixed up between that one and. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one that came out this year with the two girls. Yeah, yeah that's an awesome yeah, movie. Yeah, ringing endorsement yeah. right here. <laughs> Not that you remembered seeing it. But, but I <laughs> see so many movies, they all blend into yeah, one. Yeah, right, good, good. Yeah. Except mine. <laughs> well, I, right, right, exactly. No, I, I have, I've yet to see Beba Boys, but we could talk about <laughs> Beba Boys. Yeah, well, that was a Indian gangster movie, yeah. uh, so I was clearly the lead. Um, no, I'm kidding, I wasn't. Um, I'm not Indian. Um, I, yeah, it was... Set in Vancouver, but I think they shot a, they shot half in Toronto, half in Vancouver. It was really cool to work with those guys because they were all like hot shit in like Pakistan. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Like there's one I'm still friends with on Facebook, and like he's kind of famous there. And I'm like, hey, that's so cool. Um, and yeah, I played the girlfriend of one of the guys. He's like, um, oh god, he's like the lead singer in like. Uh, Punjabi like real life band, or? yeah, in real life, okay. yeah. Deepa Mehta asked him to do it, so like that was super cool. Yeah, just a really neat experience. That was a Deepa Mehta movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's actually yeah. pretty cool. Okay, Oscar nominated, if I'm not mistaken. You're not in an not Oscar not not Beba Boys. No, another oh, okay. one, another she one. Is Oscar yeah, nominated. she's Oscar nominated. Well, what would you say is? And the... by association, I am. <laughs> right. Well, that's coming. That's, yeah. that's next. First <laughs> next. is the empty envelope from Just for Last. Yes. And yes, then it had a contract on it, may I just say, <laughs> and a thousand dollars written on it. Oh, it did have a contract? Yeah, they're gonna like option my script okay. when I write it. You gotta be careful because when people do those like competitions, yeah. like, uh, they steal your idea. And, like, well, no, no, but my, my my sense is that uh, at least with those music uh, shows, like if someone goes on to The Voice mm -hmm. or um, what's it? Uh, what's what was the one before that? American Idol. Mm. Um, that any time that you sign before and after, they brought that, it that's back. true. Yeah, <laughs> but the voice I think is better. Yeah. I, I used to f find that um, uh, the other one, uh, American Idol, was a cancer upon the music industry because it would it would it only celebrated like uniformity and like a uh, brand. Yeah, yeah. And at least the voice. There's you know I always said if Neil Young were to appear on American Idol um, or Bob Dylan, they you know they would. They would be off in the first round. Mm -hmm. Something like the voice, I think, you know, celebrates uniqueness of voice. So I yeah. think Neil Young could have. Could have I feel out. like the people who pitched the voice had like didn't even need a one pager. They probably just had Susan Boyle written down on a piece of paper. <laughs> right. But like, where is she now? Go. I don't know, but I remember her name, so there's oh, something. By the way, um, so um, at just for laughs, I interviewed. Do you know Louis Anderson? You know he's in Baskets and he used to host. Um, uh, family Feud. He's like, yeah. Let's say I let's do. Say, yes, of yeah, course you do. Yeah, so, I know Family Feud. Do, do you, of course I do. Yeah, I love Family Feud. Yeah. Best game show of all time. It's a great. You show. know what? I'm going way off topic. Let's <laughs> let's let's stick to. Okay. What, what is, about him? I want to know more about Louis Anderson. Uh, okay, so Louis Anderson. He um, <laughs> started it. <laughs> he and I talked about this concept he has for a game show, and he's a big game show yeah. star. And uh, and he wants to try and uh, do so, and, and so he's like, maybe you could help me. Can he get it sold? Is he? I mean, I'm sure I can imagine he can. I imagine he can. Yeah. But for some reason, he, he he wants me to try and do something. You should. Of course, do I'm going that. to. Me and Louis yeah. Anderson. I think you should do yeah. that. Yeah. And we need uh, we need some help. A from... suitcase girl. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> If I get to marry a prince, then I'll be great. I will be happy with that outcome. Would you do that? That's a Meghan Markle reference, by the way. Yes, I know. Oh, well, okay, she, uh, just FYI. She, she was a deal or no deal girl. No kidding. Yeah, I think she was 26. 
I don't know why I know this. What's your take like on, on Meghan, Meghan Markle? Is she awesome? Is she terrible? Do you not care? Yeah, I'm going to go with not care. Okay. Like, yeah. I could formulate an opinion on it, like, now, but I haven't thought that far ahead, to be honest. So, um, the guy who was on last week, Stu Goffman. Yes. Um, his cousin is her best friend. Jessica, right? Jessica, yeah. So she's Canada. Like, Everybody yeah. knows Jessica, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And so their kids were like the uh, the, 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 the little the people with the, the flowers, who were, uh, the baskets. Exactly. I've clearly been to a ton talking. of weddings. Yeah. Talking. yeah. Um, <laughs> you're gonna do a game show, then you're looking at your yeah, paper. Yeah, no, forget the game show. Okay, cool. okay. So what's the highest profile movie? Let, let's go through a list okay, of some of your credits. Okay. You've done Biba Boys, mm -hmm, Deepa Meta, mm -hmm. uh, Ransom. Yep. Uh, Shadow Hunters, yep. which is a pretty big show. Yeah. Uh, Typical Love Story, which is a short. Yes. Uh, American Gothic, huge show. Big show. Um, Murdoch Mysteries. Biggest <laughs> show on that list. Thank you very much. Saving Hope. Yep. Um, and then there's, you know what? Hey, why don't we show the trailer for the new movie? Yeah. Uh, so this is on Crave right now, It's on now, Crave right? now. And this is called Radio Silence. Correct. And I believe it's called When Murder Calls in the States. When Murder I think Lifetime had to change it. Why? To sound more Lifetime-y. Okay. <laughs> and so it's on Lifetime in the States, Crave here. Yeah. And uh, break it down for us. Okay, so I actually like these movies. Sometimes you're like, hmm. this one was good, like really good. I kept her. I was. It was a page turner. She uh, is a radio. Uh, Georgina Haig is a radio, um, like love advice person. Mm -hmm. um, and then like one of her listeners kills themselves on the air, and she thinks she's responsible. So she goes away for a year. I'm her best friend, Claire. I'm her producer. And I'm like, you have to come back to the show. The ratings are terrible. And so she does, because we all put a lot of pressure on her. And then the girl who killed herself comes back. From the dead? Well, we don't know. Is she a vampire? We're like, is she dead? Did she not kill herself? Maybe it was a prank. We don't know. It was on the radio. OK, so she so comes she back. So oh, she wow. calls in, and she's like, how do you sleep at night? And like. We're all like, ah! And then um, that's, that's the chaos ensues. Well, it's, the premise reminds me a little bit, there was a fantastic Oliver Stone movie in the way before you were born um, called uh, Talk Radio. And it was Eric Bogosian who played this talk, like really arrogant talk radio host mm -hmm. who then, there, I think it was a very similar situation. Something really bad happened with the caller. Yeah. And I always thought that was such a cool it's concept. It's a great movie. concept. Yeah. I know. I was like, up until the end, I was like, ah, what's going to happen? Good thing I read that script before I went to go <laughs> shoot. <laughs> I'm kidding. I did. I let's did. see. <laughs> let's, uh, do, do you not always read the scripts? I always read the scripts. Okay. Remember that, people. She always reads the scripts. <laughs> let's see the clip. This is Radio Silence. This is uh, the trailer, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's and, the trailer. Yeah. Now, is this something that we should picture in picture, or should we just let people see it and then talk about it? I don't know. I think it's a watch through. All right, let's yeah. watch it. Yeah. All right, ready to go? We're going to watch it without picture in picture. Yeah. <laughs> should have been more clear, I guess. <laughs> We're just going to watch it, damn it. Get it straight, people. All right, here we go. Good. I know it was hard on you, but it's been a year. Someone is dead because of me. We don't know that. I heard it. I still hear it. Since the Dr. Jill show went off the air, the station's sinking and advertisers are jumping ship. Please don't tell me you're gonna ask me to come back again. I'm not. I'm begging you. Claire. You do the show you want. I'll do it. That's great. Someone's calling herself Alexis. Put it through. Yeah, so... Uh, so you get stabbed. Yeah. Looks like it. I mean, yeah, I right? Tell, like, sure. I think there's... It's not a spoiler or anything. Uh, yeah, I, does she live? 
Does do, do you live? Sorry, does, does she? Do I live? Does Claire live? Does Jill <laughs> live? Who knows? Wow. Stay tuned. <laughs> so this is playing. Is it on demand on yeah. uh, on Lifetime? Yeah. And I don't know. I'm I'm not. I don't have my hand on the Lifetime Pulse, but I but on Crave. On Crave. I, yes, you can watch it. So did you watch over it over and over again? Yeah? yeah. No, no, I didn't watch it over. You can. No, but um, did you? I watched it. Yes. With yeah. your family. Uh, no, my parents actually told me it was out. They were the <laughs> ones who found it. <laughs> because before we went on the air, you were telling me some funny stories about watching things with your, oh, with your folks. Oh, yeah. Um, what was it that I watched? Oh, yeah, because one of my favorite movies is Closer. Mm -hmm. And, like, I was so wrapped up by how good it was. I was like, everyone should see this. Mom, Dad, come watch it. And then I think it's the part where Natalie Portman, like, oh, spreads her legs at the strip club in front of Clive Owen's face. They're like... I think I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> please leave. Please leave now. I don't want to be in this room anymore. Like, what was I thinking? And then I bought my dad the Stanley Kubrick gift set for Christmas because mm. he really liked his favorite movie, The Clockwork Orange. Um, but we'd already seen that. So I was like, has anyone seen this wide shut? And they're like, no, never. And I'm like, we should watch it. It's Christmas Day. And <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says Christmas like eyes wide shut. We watched it all the way through. And that... That's, that's all I have awkward. to say. Yeah, that's wow. like, and, that's and, the end of the story. <laughs> well, shout out to your dad because you yeah. told me that he is. So you're, you're, neither of them are in the business. No. But your dad. That would have been a, great. <laughs> he's a designer of the the T Rex. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. I showed up to my sixth grade graduation in a T Rex. So the T Rex being those the the two Three wheels wheel, in the front, two wheels in the front, the one, one wheel in the back. back. It's like it's yeah. those cool. It's, it's like two not a motorcycle and not a race car, but somewhere in between. I think it's one in the front, two in the back, right? Well, I've, I've, I've got it Sorry, on the old Dad. computer machine. <laughs> I didn't design it. <laughs> this um, but yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah, you wear a helmet, it's motorcycle-y. Um, Hold on, we're going to go back to T-Rex car, I guess, <laughs> and see what comes up. T-Rex models, the front, yeah. One in the back, you were right. I'm two sorry, I get very confused. Anyway. They're uh, all over the world, these things. Yeah, yeah, Bieber has one. <laughs> so does your dad That's walk around That's a detail I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Bieber fan? Uh, am I a believer? Are you a believer? Funny you should ask. Um, we saw him, I saw him when he was like, you know, a child, like busking on the steps. It's oh, you actually like saw him? Like a Stratford theater. Yeah. Yeah, he was such a prick. Yeah, he was like he was like a child, and like you're not famous. Like we're just girl, like we're sixteen year old schoolgirls. Like, ah, like he's so cute. And then like a year later, he's like, excuse me, could you just move? Like there's other people trying to watch me. And a year later, some girl like commented on her post about him, and she's like, I think I just saw that kid on MTV. And that's that. And we did. That was because. So you guys discovered him. him. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Before he was a big deal. I don't know why I'm not making millions. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, you, you should have been Scooter Braun. Is Scooter Braun, I think that's the name of the guy who, who, who actually discovered him. Oh, and I thought was, it was Usher. Well, there was a bidding war. So this guy, Scooter Braun, how, how do I know all this about Bieber? I have no idea. <laughs> You're um, clearly a believer. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I'm, Yes, call me a believer. Yeah, the um, closeted believer. There was this guy, Scooter Braun, and he was a, a, a manager or agent, and he discovered... Uh, Bieber on what, YouTube. What, else, what other job are you supposed to have if your name's Scooter Braun? <laughs> exactly. Either that or maybe you design T-Rexes. <laughs> or or like scooters, Scooter. maybe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and he then brought, and there was a bidding war between Usher and Justin Timberlake, I believe. Oh. And Usher, Usher won. Usher won, yeah. yeah. Well, Timberlake's fine. He'll be okay. Do you know, I gotta give him credit. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not a huge pop music uh, mm -hmm. fanatic, but... Uh, but you can get down to some. I can, Timberlake. especially that first album. That was a great album. Like the the one with I wanna be real quick to walk away. Yeah, that yeah, one? yeah, yeah. I don't remember that what that was called. Um, was it just like self titled Like was it just just rock your body? No, I'm no, but like what was the justified. justified? But he got all the acclaim for future sex love sounds. I know, but justified was the better album. I agree with you. Because, Senorita was a banger. Oh yeah, because it was produced by Pharrell. And um. the second one was produced by Timbaland, except, again, I know all this stuff, um, uh, the useless information. The uh, Crimea River, which was on Justified, mm -hmm. was the only Timbaland produced track on Which that was album. like, I'm gonna go, like, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think it was the weakest song on the album. I, well, I, I, th I feel that we're, we're together on that hot yeah. take. I love, okay, the best one was Like I Love You. 
Remember that song? Yes. With the, that was like, because that yeah. was more N.E.R.D. It's than true. it was yeah. uh, Justin Timberlake. He was, yeah, that was a good album. We should, we should play it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. We keep, okay, usually I, I'm better keep it at contained. keeping things contained. Tell me more about, so Radio Silence, where did you yeah. guys film that? We filmed it here. In Montreal. We in Montreal, yeah. Which, it, exactly a year ago. Like, it was during Just for Laughs. Mm -hmm. So, they shot mostly my stuff on weekends, luckily. Cause like most of the day I'd be at the comedy pro and then I'd in the, on the weekend there was not much going on. So I'd go exhausted with my hoarse voice, like worse than now and, um, shoot all day. <laughs> and how many, how many days of shooting did you do on it? Uh, I believe it was seven or eight. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so is it, is it getting good reviews? Are you getting any feedback? Are you getting I would, recognized? You know, my diplomatic answer would be, I don't read that stuff. Um, <laughs> my real answer is I haven't looked at okay. that stuff. Well, that's, yeah. that's the same. That's I, one of the same. Yeah, like I choose not to. Like, no, I just, I, it's not a choice. It's just something I haven't done. <laughs> it's just... um, now, there was something that it seems I think it's great. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a great concept. Yeah, that'd be good. In. Um, uh, so you're also in Office Games. Yeah. Um, this is a movie coming out about um, uh, a gamer who uh, uses his gaming skills. He's like living at home and his parents kick him out and he yes. has to uh, get a job and be successful in the world and he's a gamer and he's in love with this girl who's also a gamer and uh, chaos ensues when the... the and the, where do I all, where do I fit in? Yeah, what's your role <laughs> in Office Games? I'm the HR girl. <laughs> so... So do you get typecast? Because no, uh, so far I'm so lucky. Right, <laughs> so, like, I don't. Maybe like the first like three years of my career, I was like slutty girl. But then I Did don't you know. Did you play a lot of slutty girls? Yeah, a lot of slutty girls. Yeah, <laughs> I think like my first. Okay, my first like credit was Blue Mountain State. Yeah. And well, it was a two. It was a double sided thing because like on the one hand, I like the extras would come up to me and be like, "Oh my God, you're so lucky. You don't have to blow anyone." But then on the other hand, it was like. <laughs> I was still playing a girl who was like poisoned by a condom. Like it was like God, I you know, I haven't watched Blue Mountain State enough, I guess. Uh, clearly not. Low yeah. jobs and and condom yeah, poisoning. Yeah, it was like American Pie from like TV. Oh, it was wow. on Spike. <laughs> so like, right, what okay. You, uh, and so what was your role? You, you got poisoned by My name was Becca. Mm -hmm. Um I was a college girl who like comes to the like she, I think I like bang the mascot or something, but we only see it after. Like I come out and I'm like, you poisoned me with your edible condoms and like I'm gonna bring my brother here and he's gonna kick your ass. And then Chuck Liddell comes in as like the mascot sidekick to train, train him how to fight. Chuck but Liddell? As, the Chuck Liddell? The Chuck Liddell. Wow. Yeah, so that was a cool gig. Um, and then I'll spoil it because it's been long enough. Um, and if you haven't seen it at this point, well, I don't, don't, don't do it. Um, my brother comes, he goes to beat him up. Turns out Chuck Liddell was a figment of the mascot's imagination because he was poisoning himself with the edible condoms, which were actually fruit roll up. Fun <laughs> fact. Okay. <laughs> so that was, that was, that was your first role? Yeah. Yeah. So that was my big debut. What was, <laughs> were you, were you nervous? Like what was the first role like for you? To be honest, I was like, I think I was 18 or 19. And I like, I was just like a girl in Montreal who like wanted to act and like. We didn't, Did you go to acting school and no, go I just through? took classes. Right. I went to, I went to um, Concordia and Communications. So yeah, I met filmmakers. It was a great career move. Um, I have so many connections now. Yeah, look um, at you now. Yeah, none of them have employed me, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I was just, I was really young and like I just got it like by fluke, I think. And it was just like, it ended up being one of the things that people are like, oh my God, I love that show. Like they have a huge fan base. So it's funny because like, you know, you work for it as time goes on, like once you get your first thing, you really try and like work more for it, I think. But that seemed like the thing that came the easiest. Mm -hmm. You know, like it's, it's playing funny. that role, you mean? Or no, just, just acting. like getting it. Like, just like I didn't even realize the magnitude of what it was. You know, I'm like, yeah, like I like drive to St. Anne de Bellevue and like, like learn my lines and like, you know, whatever. Like, was you it don't one realize. episode or is it? No, it was one episode. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then from that, 
from that, oh, well, the landslide that happened. Actually, it was a great year. It was a really good year. I ended up doing like an indie a couple months later. I, it was my first year of university wow. um, at Concordia. And I was like going to school during the day and then shooting this indie at night because it was, all took place at night. And so I was just like delirious for two weeks, which was great because like I actually became like really popular because everyone thought I was so funny because I was sleep deprived. <laughs> um, so, popular at school or on yeah, set? Yeah, at school. <laughs> Well, and on set, but they already knew me. But at school, you know, they're like, oh my God, that girl's so funny. And I'm like, I just don't make any sense anymore. They, like, I'm, just like, I'm just sleep deprived. Like, that's all That's all this is. Were you living at, at home at that time? I was. Oh, no, actually, sorry. It was my first apartment. I was living in my first apartment. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I was doing it, doing it all alone. <laughs> and then uh, what was the biggest role you've done? Uh, oh, well, it would have been the one that I just uh, did in February. So it's not out yet. It's a Christmas movie, so stay tuned. Um, Christmas movies have turned out to be, like, my thing this year. Really? Uh, yeah, I've done two so far. <laughs> um, like Hallmark Christmas movies? I don't know where they're going to go. I think they go to either Lifetime or Hallmark or Netflix or Ion. Okay, like and, but they're, like, the... feel-good. Yeah, like... oh, no, they're, mur they're murder mysteries. No. <laughs> I mean, you got stabbed <laughs> in that I know, other clip. I know. See, no typecasting. No typecasting for me. Um, no, so it was. it's a Christmas movie called Christmas Coach, and I'm a Christmas coach, and that's a job in this movie. Uh, it's a person, it's basically a party planner for Christmas. So like I'm, I come in with my friend and we like make you have the best Christmas ever, whether you like it or not. And your personnel, are you like a, are you a super awesome um, Christmas coach or are you like uh, an annoying... Um... Oh, no, we have to be awesome. Like, like I'm like, okay, I'm the lead of the movie. Like, oh, if you hate lead? her, yeah. Oh, it's true, it's called the Christmas... Number one. Wow. Um, so, so, no, like, I have to be cool. Like, he has to fall in love with me. Oh, he, oh so that's what <laughs> like, happens. Yeah, yeah, he's like 86th in line for the British throne, and, like, we connect on a deeper level. 86th? Yeah, line. yeah. That's a thing? Uh, you can, uh, yeah. Is there actually someone who's like... There has to be. Well, I guess so, but you like... You could be. I could be, <laughs> but there's not a movie about me that's... No, not yet. No. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> Coach 2. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Just with me with the thumbs yeah. up? <laughs> um, so the lead in the movie, that's pretty big. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. It was so much fun. I want to do it more. Uh, <laughs> hi, me. No, uh, yeah, so it was really fun. We were shooting in Ottawa for two and a half three weeks, and uh, everyone was cool. It was great. It was one of those experiences where you're like, this is almost so boring in a way because everyone's so nice. <laughs> well, there's drama. There's also, uh, there seems to be a lot of blood in movies that you've done. I, I, or unless, is it, um, I'm trying yeah. to think of the movie that, that on, on the IMDB, mm -hmm. on the old IMDB machine, th there's a bunch of pictures of one of the movies that you're in and there's just like blood everywhere. Which one would that be? That could it be any really? and all. No, um, is it, I don't know, like, am I, am I fully clothed? Hmm, let's see here. <laughs> Let me okay, see. wait, I should explain that. In being human, I get I think it's being I get, human, yeah. um, compelled by a vampire uh -huh. uh, into doing like a feasting threesome. A feasting, not a, not, okay, sorry. Allow I was going to say, did, to did I miss a, a fist, a feasting? Feasting. Feasting. Feast, like there's a dead, there's a dying, not a fisting skinless, threesome. no, no, <laughs> different show. I'll talk about that later. No, there's a, there's a skinless vampire who must be healed by human blood. So, you know, Sam, oh, that, that's not, that's not. Oh, that's, that's what we just saw. Yeah, that's what we just saw. That's Radio Silence. Yeah, okay, that's gotcha. me. No, uh, dying or not on a parking lot floor. Oh yeah, okay, that's the yeah. yeah. But no, the being human one was I died doing this. Like he goes crazy. Oh, there we go. Oh, more blood. That's yeah. oh, from that's Beaver Beaver Boys. Boys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they shoot me. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> it's the opening scene. Um, yeah. So in no being human, they 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 feed on us and then like we die and then I come back as a ghost. But if not you, as a vampire. No, I think they killed me. I don't know. I don't know the vampire rules, but yeah. Well, I, you, you got to learn the vampire. I know. I know. I'm just ignoring them. I'm like hoping that gets me through. Um, but yeah, th then I come back as a ghost, and I'm like covered in blood still, like because you come back the way you died. Right. So I'm like, hey. <laughs> so you're no stranger to blood scenes. Yeah, they had to peel me off the floor. Really? Well, it's I, very the, sticky. The, <laughs> was it? Uh, 
uh, the fake blood that they make with like uh, cor corn, corn syrup. Corn yeah. syrup yeah, but exactly. then like when they had to recreate it, it was more like an alcohol based thing um, to make it stay on. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I once went um, for a, a visual effects, not even a visual, no, it was, it was a makeup practical effects thing where, the, where for the movie Machete, it was like a promo thing and they, they uh, I had this makeup artist show what it would like be like to get a huge gash from a machete, uh -huh. and it was the it was so realistic looking. And I then went. Um, Did you pass out? No, <laughs> but I went to my, my my parents' house, uh, and and I was like, I kind of got out of the car. I was like, Oh man! And they they they, they nearly passed out. They oh yeah, believe. right. Yeah. You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. Uh, oh. um, let's watch your demo reel. Okay. Because we're talking about all your sure. all, all your roles here. Let's do picture in picture. Okay. Um, or we'll start, let's start it off in full picture. Sure, because we, we'll we did already picture talk picture. about Beba Boys. So that's right. That's out of the way. And that's, that, is that the first thing on there? Yeah, I have like a kind of like cheesy, like, oh my gosh, and then like my face, you know, like, it's, well, you'll see. Okay, <laughs> so this is Erica Deutschman's uh, demo reel of all the, this is, is this pretty not, much up to no, date? No, well, yes, it, mm, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's last year's. This is, yeah, I, I haven't still. gotten around to adding. I'm just so busy. Exactly, <laughs> making movies and yeah. winning thousand dollar yeah. checks that aren't in the envelope. All right, here we go. We ready? Yes. <laughs> okay. Roll it. Negotiator, you are. If I said I could negotiate blind, it only works with full disclosure. I told you everything, you son of a bitch. You said you didn't have an affair with your husband's brother. I didn't. No matter what he thinks. But you wanted to. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. One night, six months ago, we'd had too much wine. Jerry was out. Michael initiated, but I was the one who stopped it. You expect me to believe that? I already so this told is you. Ransom. I love this is Ransom. Jerry knew I played a pregnant lady. I wasn't just huge. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to wear one of those? I like, was in Budapest, so I just went a little crazy. <laughs> no, uh, I wore a fake belly. They gave me a little cardigans because the fake belly was kind of lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't. They, they, they couldn't. Uh, well, the, the, um, the prosthetic baby bump was too big for my hips, so they had to improvise like, with a pillow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't commit to the part and actually get pregnant, weirdly enough. Well, I have to say, by the way, that Beba Boys intro was great. Yeah. Oh, that, what a great way to start off there. Thank you. It, um, it certainly grabs your attention, I think. And so this is now Shadow Hunters. Nice. And your role, you're a vampire. I'm no. a drug dealer vampire. Yeah. Um, she's got a problem. She's got a drug problem. Okay. Um, I'm like, I want to drink your blood, and then see, we're all like, Shit. Ooh. <laughs> and she's about to save herself, and I'm like, <laughs> Wow, yeah. Forget the So so far. Ooh. Okay. So Jesus. This is a short I did called Typical Love Story. Typical Love Story, okay. Um, it was it shot uh, in St. Catherine, Ontario, which I'd never gotten to see before. A uh, magical place. Beautiful St. Catherine. <laughs> um, yeah, had a great manicure there. Uh, no, the, this was with a great director. His name is Patrick Hodgson. He, mm -hmm. He's super gifted. Um, he does a lot of dance stuff because he's married to a dancer. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Ask me questions because I'm just. Are you guys about to make out there? It looks like we are. That's why I put it. I was like, look, I can be a romantic lead. Yeah. Um, but then we don't. You don't? Why? Because his phone rings. <laughs> Spoiler. What? <laughs> what, what just happened? His phone rings. Okay, so the premise well, we of the short, it. it's because it lit up. Oh, gotcha. Is that he's addicted to his phone. Oh. That's the whole problem. This is American Gothic. Yeah, and so I'm what's your role in American a Gothic? A young Allison, who's like the lead lady. She's a politician. This is her beginning, her beginning story, basically. Oh, Like how okay. she goes into politics. So like her husband or boyfriend at the time is running, but then she decides she's gonna run. Well, you look very wholesome there. I am to be quite. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Uh, is that? That is, yes, that is Vincent Altair, yes. What, in this or in the No, 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 in the typical love story. So, right. yeah, sorry, I'm just answering a question. <laughs> I should have probably prefaced. And that guy, he looked a bit like, like our man Justin Timberlake. You find? The, the one with the beard? The, 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 the yeah, a little bit. Really? Yeah. Has anyone seen Cam? He's supposed to help us. So this is, how many episodes of the backstory is that? That was two episodes. Oh, and here's Murdoch. Murdoch. Oh, okay. So this is supposed to be a spoof on uh, Tanya Harding. Oh, really? Yeah. Like when she got hit, we watched the video right before we shot it, and she's like, "Why? Why?" <laughs> so we we recreated it. I didn't know Murdoch Mysteries was funny. It's this was hilarious. Feel someone near me. I've yeah. always had a problem with with I, I've discussed this on the show before, like period period pieces, like. With no humor? Yeah, exactly. Or with humor? No, with humor is fine. Well, stay tuned. Oh my god, that's you! Hilarious. I would not have even... Yeah, that's me. I wouldn't have even recognized you. Wow, okay, so you have a very chameleon-like... See, I make a joke. My brother watched a dog. That's my best friend, Kim. We met on Saving Hope. What's Saving Hope about again? Doctors and ghosts. Useless. Anyway, I worked. <laughs> I was a huge fan. Um, we went to Africa without getting inoculated for anything, so we come back with like diseases and stuff. And um, I don't know. That's basically it, the story. She's our doctor. And she became your best friend? Yeah. We like fell in love and became best friends. And she's the star of the show? Yeah. Well, she's one of the leads. Yeah. Yeah. So is she gonna bring you back? Erica Deutsch. Well, the show's over. Oh, shit. So, yeah. yeah. I guess not. Right. Also, my contact information is now incorrect. Uh, Jazzy J says, he's my bud. We did a short together years ago. So did we. So did we. What are the <laughs> Were you in that, Jazzy J? <laughs> Was it typical love story? <laughs> yeah, tell us about the, 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 the short that you were in. I'd love to hear it. Well, um, it, well, I'm a Jesse. Oh, okay. <laughs> but no, but but do tell. See, burn back. Okay, Erica won. Erica won. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, a little context here. As uh, as uh, I told Erica to be here for 8:30, and I was late, and uh, she was. She, I got shit from her, and and. Fair enough. In a non-direct shit way. It was very passive Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. It was, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was actually Julian who call, called... Called me out on, on being an accidental bitch. Right, exactly. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> and so now we both have... But we're going to get to some, some trivia soon. And okay, then we'll see who's okay. Really, yeah. It was called Date and Time. So apparently uh, um, Altair does a lot of, of dating, shorts. dating shorts. Right. Probably because he's so handsome. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look He's like very Justin. handsome. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. That'd be rude. <laughs> so have you done um, love scenes? Uh, like sex scenes? Or kissing scenes? Well, or? I had a vampire threesome, so that's pretty racy. <laughs> yes, um, so, yeah. was like, uh, and like, oh yeah, well, I mean, the Christmas movie, like, I don't want right to ruin it. It wasn't like a sex scene, that's crazy, but it was like a, you know, like, we like, get together at the end. Uh, like, that's not a spoiler. Like, everyone knows that. Right, right? exactly. If it's a Christmas movie, then, well, yeah. Like, that would be but, like, pretty full sad. on, like, together. make out. No, no. It was, it's like a Hallmark kiss. Right. <laughs> but is that awkward when everyone's in the room and you're, uh, and, and you have to do a scene No, like that? no. It's like, if you're a great actor, such as myself, <laughs> <laughs> you kind of get lost in it, you know? Yeah. Especially if you have, like, a secret crush on the guy you're shooting with. Has that happened? No. <laughs> I see. Okay, we're gonna dig further. I've also I'm on a I'm on a mission to get your pin number by the end of the show. Right, right, yeah, right. Because I just announce it usually when I'm putting it in at the store. Exactly. Because Erica's, you know, she, you have a tendency to just. I'm so trusting. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's do some trivia. Okay. All right. I am. Uh, do you want to do tagline trivia or do you want to do movie quote trivia? What's easier? <laughs> I, I would, what will make me look the best? I would tend to say film quotes. Okay. And, uh, Don't do the one you did last, because I already forgot it. No, exactly. Okay. Um, <laughs> and let's see. Uh, what decade do we want to do? Uh, let's do like 2000s. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try and find... Oh. Okay. Pretty easy, okay. I, I, I think. But then again, I uh -huh. say that. Yeah. Then. Okay. If you've A seen it. Oh, Napoleon Dynamite. There you go. That was hard. Duh. Okay. It's pretty much my favorite <laughs> I animal. I picked the right year. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed, bred for its skills in magic. Okay, you're doing good so far. Yeah. Um, Napoleon Dynamite, it's so okay. funny. How I should watch that again. I'll just play it. Okay. Unleash hell. 
What? At, at my signal, unleash hell. With uh, my signal, unleash hell. Now I'll give you a hint. Okay. This actor. Okay. Um, I think an Academy Award winning actor from Australia, if I'm not mistaken, um, has is plays Roger Ailes, the head of or the former head of Fox News in an upcoming miniseries. Oh. Where he looks very different. He also was in. Is uh, it Christian Bale? No. But it is. Um, oh, he's not Australian. No, he's British. I know because I thought he was Australian, and then I heard his Glo Golden Globe acceptance speech, and I was he's, like, "Are you Cockney? Like, what, what is this?" <laughs> no, it is a Pew okay. More hints. Roger Ailes. Um, I know, like, I know. A beautiful mind. Oh, um, uh, 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 the guy with the Rhymes Trojan with muscle. Yeah, Russell Crowe. There you go. Yeah, I was doing the jog strap from Gladiator because <laughs> okay, I'm was, a big John Oliver fan. Th that was. And he bought the jog strap from Gladiator. Yeah, Russell Crowe was having a an auction for mm -hmm. all his like movie paraphernalia, and Russell Crowe, I'm uh, sorry, uh, John Oliver bought it to send to the blockbuster, like the last blockbuster on earth, <laughs> to like bring people in. I love John Oliver. He's great. Okay, let's do another one. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I should have done the. Are you not entertained? Because then you would have. Uh, then you would have gotten it for sure. Okay, hold on. <laughs> let's move down to. Um, okay. I know who I am. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another oh, dude. Oh, Tropic Thunder. Yes, you're yeah. doing good. Okay. They couldn't make that now. <laughs> no, they couldn't. <laughs> they couldn't do it. it and it's it, 2008. It's, it hasn't it's, even it been 10 years. It doesn't even feel that long ago. Yeah, yeah, but here we are. That's the only movie I've liked Tom... No, one of two movies I've liked Tom Cruise in. Otherwise, What's the, what are the two? This one. Yeah. And uh, Magnolia. First, I never saw Magnolia. Two, he was great in this because I thought he... But like, really? He's done so many movies. I There's so many... Really? Yeah. What about like Vanilla Sky? Oh, okay, okay. Eh? Fair enough. I, listen, uh, everyone who watches the show knows this about me that um, I always feel like Tom Cruise is giving himself a mental high five every time he does something. He's just like, I'm okay. fucking Tom Cruise. Yeah, and but like, like, I would too. If you were Tom Cruise? <laughs> yes. But you can because you're Erica Deutsch. <laughs> right. So, so you hate me? No, <laughs> yeah. no, because you don't look. At, right, you don't right. jump I on don't, couches. Right, and, right, right. Okay. Except now, no, I'm not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, I want to see it. No, I'm good. Right. I don't want to, you know, hurt myself. Fish are <laughs> friends, not food. Oh, um, Nemo, Finding Nemo. You're three for three. E well, no, not the Roger Ailes one. Yeah, but I eventually gave you. Is that movie hints. even out yet? No. So. <laughs> but it's coming out. I saw that. I, I, I saw. So from a trailer. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, uh, okay, I thought you were going to tell me what a bad you Googleizer I am. Oh, Zoolander. <laughs> yes, you did yes. really well. Zoolander, I quote on like a bi-weekly basis, I think. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Great movie. Because like I don't know if anything small, I go, "What is this? A school for ants?" Like if anything small. <laughs> Anything. But did you see Zoolander 2? No, I didn't want to ruin it for yeah, myself. No, don't. Though their marketing was outrageous. Yes. I um, I was in LA when they were promoting it, and there was a. I was like, do I hear relax on a loop? And the gas station across from my gym had the fountain, the yeah. gasoline fountain. That was the greatest, one of the greatest scenes in comedy history. I know, right. I know. I, I replayed in my head every night. And I, and yeah, they had the gasoline fountain and they were playing Relax on a Loop. It was a Zoolander gas station. Kill the Malaysian Prime Minister. I mean, that might be the greatest. Yeah, I, it's I'm, amazing. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Okay, I got one. Okay. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Okay, so not King Kong. Um... <laughs> Ooh, okay, uh, let's see. Maybe if I play the clip, you'll hear okay. the voice. King Kong ain't got shit on me! Actually, that's not even the guy who stars in it. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, well, time, yeah. Time for some hints. Okay, time for some hints. Okay. Um, the actor is my, maybe one of the most bankable stars in the world. Um, the movie dates back to 2001. He is African-American. Um, he Okay, there's a lyric in a salt and pepper song about him. Um, uh, which salt and pepper song? Well, that's I mean that's why these are hints. I'll eventually right. get to it. Okay, uh, okay. Something, something, something in a Denzel up. face. Oh, oh shit! Dense. <laughs> Forest Woodacre. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave now. Morgan Freeman. This is, this is your show now. I'm out. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. All right. You know what? <laughs> okay, so how many points do you have? You have uh, you got you got well, a lot of points. Well, that was by default. Yeah. I think 
I think you can do, you know what, let's go to um, the 90s and you can well, do it. Now. Okay, okay. You choose the 90s? Yeah, and, okay. then, and this, is the, you, you, this is a first where you get to actually, oh, the, yay, where the guest okay. gets to do it. So, but make it easy for me, please. Jazzy J is saying, Training Day. That's right. Oh, we didn't even get to what movie it was. But it was Training Day. Oh, see, I never saw Training mm, Day. That's a great movie. See, I thought it was a PR movie about King Kong knowing something about Denzel. A PR movie? It's a, it's a play on words about him having shit on him. Right, exactly. So no, I no, love it's... when I have to explain my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know they really succeeded. Yeah, you landed that yeah, one. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Okay, right. uh, let's move on. <laughs> <clears throat> you can scroll, by the way. You don't have to go with the first Right. Two, yeah, because you've read all these. No, I haven't, I, I, I haven't done 90s. Mm -hmm. And that's my that, that's These my are decade. long. Are you complaining? <laughs> well, I mean, then the short ones are too easy. Okay, failure is not an option. Oh, shit. Failure is not an option. Not, those aren't just for my business cards. Right. Is, that's, is, that's not, it's not Matrix, is it? No. I, I think Matrix was early 2000s. Mm. Am I wrong? Was it? Okay, give me some hints though. Um, okay, uh, there's a number in the movie title. Okay. Um, it is, well no, this is too obvious. Uh, no, give me obvious. Uh, Failure is not an option, I really should know that. They, the, they, they're in space. <laughs> they're in space, yeah. okay, and it's got, and it, it's. And it's got a number in it. Right. What? And it's not 2001 A Space Odyssey. Right, exactly. And it's, it's not... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yes. Apollo 13, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay, well done. Which I wouldn't have known. No, exactly. Because <laughs> like... it does sound like... It sounds yeah. like an iconic like, line. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah. where is it from? You know, it's like, beam me up, Scotty. No, everyone knows where that's from. Right. Yeah. Um, this is really easy. Do you want an easy one? I, absolutely. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do, pig? Is that Babe? Yes. Okay. Okay, did you know... So, you know who directed Babe? Who? Uh, Miller. Um, George Miller. You clearly know. Yeah. So George Miller did Babe Pig in the City. He did Happy Feet. And that was sandwiched by his first movie and his most recent movie. That are both, one is a reboot of the other. Mad Max. So he the same guy who did Babe. Did Mad Max. Did Mad Max. Wow, he's confused. <laughs> he's a confused individual. Did you see the, the, the most recent, uh, the, you know, the, the Mad Max reboot? Okay, so I have a few things to say. Okay. First of all, I did see it on a plane. Oh, so, that's the worst place sorry, to see it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Second, I was just in Portugal, uh -huh. and like the guy who was kind of like, he was an employee at the lodge we were working at, mm. uh, sorry, living at. Um, it was like a surf and yoga thing. I'm a, a closeted hippie. Um, he was like obsessed with Tom Hardy. Mm -hmm. Like that was like his be all, and he loved Tom Hardy so much. And um, so yeah, he he like almost stopped talking to me like for the you whole trip because I because I only saw Mad Max on an airplane. Oh like, right, okay, so you'd seen it before like I've that. I've seen it. I just yeah. like didn't. I, I'm sorry, I didn't see it in theaters. It's a tremendous movie. This is too. Is, I'm sure it's great if you watch it on the white on, on an actual through. screen that's yeah, bigger than a phone. It was so bad. Right. Okay. Okay, Mr. Hall, I was surfing the crimson wave. I had to haul ass to the ladies. These are hard. Mr. Hall, I was surfing the crimson. I mean, I feel like surfing the crimson wave. Oh, wait. Oh, that's uh, is, that, is that American Pie? No. No, but that's uh, that's like a raunchy teen. Uh... No. It's an appropriate. What? It's an appropriate teen movie. Clueless? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, an okay. appropriate teen movie. <laughs> Very good. That's what got you. Okay. Um, I don't, like, I haven't even seen this, so I can't. I can't do that. That would be hypocritical. And like some of these are basically like welcome to Jurassic Park. Exactly. Like, the, yeah. you are a toy. You aren't the real Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> wait, wait, is it uh, Shrek? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're an action figure. You are a child plaything. Have you seen, are you a fan of the Toy Story franchise? It's so funny. Like I accidentally see all of them and accidentally love all of them. And like, I still haven't seen the fourth though. Cause the like fourth it, is it good. hasn't been put in front of me yet. And it's it's all about Keanu. Keanu is. He's like the breakout star. He is, yeah, exactly. Cause he's, he had no career before yeah, that, but this thing. is his big. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, he, he makes that movie, but Toy Story 3 still ranks as one of my favorite movies of all time. The third? Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, do you remember that one? Of course, with, I've seen it the most like, recently. Oh, it's so yeah, good. with the creepy 
Crispy Pear. Oh, yeah. Who, like, I had a bear who looked like that, so my childhood's over, but that's okay. <laughs> who right, cares? I think, uh, do me one more. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't believe my Denzel. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that's, that's possibly my favorite thing that, that ever happened. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so these are hard and so out of context. Okay, like go to two 80s. more months. Like, come on, what's that? Two more months. Two more months. No, that's too like that. That's in most movies. Right, exactly. That's in every movie. We're gonna get with two more months. Um. Okay. Yeah. The Price is Wrong, bitch. <laughs> Oh, that's Happy Gilmore. That's right. It is. Yeah, yeah. We ended on a good note. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know where our points are, but we're, we're I mean, pretty much keeping equal. Track. Eric and Erica were like... You we're... lost five by giving away Denzel, though. So oh, I win. Was... Yeah, but you, yeah. but you still didn't get the movie that he was in. Uh, it, it had, it was right, because Jay. I forgot what game we were playing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, uh, you're a hippie. Right? Apparently. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually sorry. I'm a self proclaimed, like, materialistic hippie. Oh. Yeah. Those so, are the like, worst kind of hippies. It's conflicting. I yeah. yeah. I'm just an asshole, really. <laughs> just... um, but, but, like, you were talking about your moonstone before. <laughs> yes. Um, and, uh, and I think, what else that you were saying? You're like, you, uh, would you go to a tower reading? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. I've been to two. <laughs> oh yeah. And what did they tell you? Really, really nice things. So like anytime now. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. She said uh, really nice things. Success surrounds me and like keep doing what you're doing. Do you feel that's true? Well, I mean, like she's not a liar, but like also, you know, you always want more. No, I, mean, I, I just mean like in your life, do you feel that you've been... Very uh, fortunate? Yeah, exactly. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm a lucky person. Yeah. It's probably the moonstone though, let's be real. <laughs> right. Let's what be honest. What other hippie-ish things you were, you were mentioning? We're at a surf yoga retreat in yeah. Portugal. Mm -hmm. I'm reading The Artist's Way. Oh, what's that again? So I, it's like this 12 week, well, okay, more than 12 weeks, because let's be real, I'm not doing it like by the book. But um, like you kind of, it's like an artistic journey. Like you have to like write every morning for like for three pages, you, and, and you, you have do to take. I do this well most days. It's like just for laughs, it's a lot of hangovers. So, um, but you know, uh, take yourself on an artist date. So you have to go do something like that sparks your creativity every week. Well, like Mary Kondo. Uh... No, no, nothing like that. No, and I, I just usually just go to, yeah, you're like anything that's a spark. <laughs> Turns out I'm just a kleptomaniac. <laughs> um, no, uh, like, like going to yoga class or like, like, oh God, that's all I ever do. <laughs> you do a lot of yoga? Yeah, see, I'm a, I'm a hippie. Mm -hmm. No, that's my artist date, like usually. That's like my, that's my thing. Or a dance class, like go to a dance class. Really? Yeah. Like hip hop and jazz? Yeah, I've been taking a lot of hip hop classes. Really? So what is the difference between hip hop, is, is hip hop dancing like twerking? No. No, okay. Well, I guess it's a version of it, but right. I'm not, I'm certainly not doing that. <laughs> but like, is hip hop dancing? I think that's cultural appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could have a whole conversation about culture. Yeah. There was an, the, that's a different episode. <laughs> in, in Ottawa, there was a university that banned yoga, yoga classes. Because, Why? Because of cultural appropriation, because they're like, well, it's an Indian culture and, and we shouldn't be, I mean, sometimes, the whole idea of cultural appropriation is so fucking ridiculous. I think the yogas would be very yogis would be very upset about that. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's doing more harm than good. Yeah, well often What am I supposed to do for my artist date now? <laughs> <laughs> so you've been writing every day for, for oh, Okay, like every day. Like, and and what do you write? Uh you just have to write your thoughts. Like stream of consciousness. I'm not supposed to tell you. <laughs> okay, no, but I mean, is it? Uh, I'm you're setting a your intent intentions. <laughs> yeah, well, you're supposed to do. You're supposed to like stream of consciousness, but like also intention. But it comes up when you're thinking in the morning. You're like, wouldn't it be cool if I had an infinity pool? Like, just, you know. <laughs> is that? And is that could help people in the world. <laughs> I would love to go on a humanitarian mission. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I would love to. So, uh, I, at you'd one like point, to read them? Yes, no, you exactly. cannot. No, you may exactly. not. <laughs> and I'm I've, I've admitted to crimes. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Does I'm this, get this off my chest. <laughs> does it? Does it? Um, does it help you in you know in your art artist journey? Has, has it been? Do you think that maybe your success at just for laughs, maybe your headspace is due to these exercises that are kind of putting you in? in I have in the right no direction? choice but to say yes. 
Because like if I was like if I wasn't doing it, I'd accredit it to something else. But mm -hmm. I feel like we're always looking for like this is the reason. Mm -hmm. This is why. So that this is why. This is why. <laughs> okay. Well, I have a friend who teaches or, or he started these called it's an impro gym and it's uh, like improv uh, and acting classes. And he was telling me about the breathing exercises that they do, which all have to do with like that, that basically you have oxygen all throughout your body. So even when you're not breathing it, it's, it's in your blood. So if you take a giant breath. Now you're just making me want to breathe. And then you just hold it. <gasps> okay. like, you know, he said that mm. sometimes they can go for like a minute and a half without breathing, which to me is like uh, What's that anxiety for? inducing. But he says that it just puts, he says he can't do a scene without doing that before because it just puts him in that mindset. Into the not the suffocation. The, the, into the suffocation <laughs> mindset. But do you do you have any kind of preparatory things that you do before you hit the scene? Oh, I can't be that girl. No, no I have a friend who like beats his chest, who's not mm. Matthew McConaughey. Um, <laughs> so it's like, please stop. Like, <laughs> but he like, yeah. he just. I'm like, you know, okay. no, <laughs> like, no, like you pr prepare, mm -hmm. like an actor, like a professional, you know. <laughs> No, I don't want to be like that wacky, like, oh, we can't hire her because she's like, you know, she needs her incense like for two hours before. Not that I don't do that, but I do in, the, in my own time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember once uh, being on set for an interview. It was a movie called, shit, what was it called? It had that guy, uh, Paul Walker, before, just before he died. Right. And, um, uh, and Riza, uh, Brick Mansions filmed here in Montreal. Okay. And we were doing an interview with um, Paul Walker. And we had we, we were told we had to wait a half an hour while he was getting a massage. So that you know the interview was scheduled for whatever whatever right. time. And then we had to wait a half. And I was like, why the hell? You know, what's your schedule massage exactly. right when you're supposed to have an interview? But it turns out you're that speaking ill of the dead. You know that. No, <laughs> and the truth haunted. is, he you're was gonna... the nicest guy. Okay. Like when he came up, because like, he just had a forgiven. massage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm the nicest guy too. After I've had a massage. What <laughs> like... a terrible way to go, though, eh? Oh uh, my god. How and, did you Oh, it's so ironic. I mean, I he's the guy from the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, in, in like a drag race. Oh. Uh, uh, I forgot. I yeah. remember reading, but it was it what a terrible, a terrible thing. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. Oh. Um, anyway. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, hold on. I wanted to. Um, okay, let's do the doppelganger thing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to guess. Yes. Uh, do you have one or several doppelgangers? I have several. Really? Okay. Yeah. I think there's one that comes to mind. Okay. I'm going to guess. Yeah. I'll give you a couple of movies she's in. Sure. Mulholland Drive. Naomi Watts. There you go. Yeah, you I get, get that, that a lot. Yeah. yeah, she's number one for sure. But then also, like I tell people, I was the voice in her. <laughs> like, oh, you! Oh my God, you're Naomi Watts with a with a with Scarlett a ScarJo voice. Wow. Yeah, it's like the new. What's the line in Baby's Got Back where it's like she's got a something face and a something, and a Denzel face. It's a, it's a Denzel face. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Wow, I'm so white. Um, yeah, she's. Uh, she, um, I tell people they got me for like really cheap, and they just slapped her name on it. <laughs> you do have a Scarlett. So is it? It's it's um, it's just a little bit raspy, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. You heard right. So who else do you get? <laughs> um, you know, any blonde person. Any blonde. Really, you know, the other day I got like Reese Witherspoon, which I don't really see. I don't see to that be as honest. much. Um, Christina Applegate sometimes. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. Um. I think those are the big ones. Yeah. I got Avril Lavigne once. <laughs> Maybe like back in the day. Right. She's very, she's she's very like uh, she's no, kind of gone I'm way off. <laughs> uh, what did you say? Uh, no, I said she was old now. Yeah, she is. Old and, she's and, not and old. Weird. She's not old. Um, so uh, I get, <laughs> there's some that I really like and some that I'm not so. I, I got a new one the other day though. Okay, um, you get. Yeah, tell me who I get. Zach Galifianakis. No. <laughs> okay. We were but talking about exactly, him, yeah. and that's why. But there's someone in his I'm movie that I get my... from time to time. Which movie? Come on, look at this face. Which movie? The Hangover. You get you get Bradley Cooper? From the... <laughs> Sorry. No offense. <laughs> no offense, but You guys geez. are both very handsome, but yeah. in different ways. No, I get that. <laughs> I, I, so usually it's either Brad. In fact, um, what's your name? You go, you go like, yeah, Zach Galvin. I'm like, <laughs> you're like, no, Bradley Cooper. Like, no, but it's, I've also, uh, no, I've like, never gotten Zach Galifianakis, that's true. <laughs> uh, but I, we, I was producing Match Game, and we had Nicole, Yvette Nicole Brown, who, she used to be on Community, and she's oh, on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And she, and she looked, looked at me get? and said, no, well, she said, <laughs> she, you, 
you know, you just you look just like Bradley Cooper. And she snapped a photo of me to send it to Ken Jeong. Bradley Jung. Cooper? No, but, okay. but Ken Jeong, who worked with Ken with Bradley Cooper. Right, of course. Um, and then I also often get uh, Seth Rogen. And I, I think... Is I it know, the beard? It might be the beard. It might be the voice. It might be the glasses. Right. It might be, you know, a Jewish guy. Jewishness. With, uh, yeah, just plain Jewishness. Mm-hmm. But the other day I got Jake Gyllenhaal. Wow. Which I thought was, okay. Nice. And, and it, That's it, a score. That's was a nice one. from a guy in a band called Metalachi. And they do metal, but mariachi style. And you should have seen what they look like. He's like... And, and they're from like... Suit and tie. They're from East LA and they're like... Bro, you look just like Jake Gyllenhaal, man. Jazzy G says J- Mark J- Jazzy Maron. J says Mark Maron, I, which I can see. Really? Very good. Okay. Okay. So I mean, I like Seth and and Mark for being funny. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, yeah Jake. Yeah. Yeah. And then last week, <laughs> Stu told me that I had um, uh, uh, Jason Bateman hair. That's a that's a good hair. I guess it's a good hair. thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. I would take that compliment and run with it. Right. But like you like you have good hair, so that's good. So well, that's... you know what? When I was at um, so this past weekend was Heavy Montreal, which is the the big heavy yeah. metal festival, and um, in the uh, in the backstage area, the, the Monster Energy had this setup with um, it was a barber chair, mm-hmm. and I went and I got uh, the full. Barber, you got I a got, blind haircut. I got a blind. You haircut. didn't even know who you were. Not at all, but I figure it was like it was... looks great, man. <laughs> Thank you. But the guy was like, "You got you got perfect hair for a barber." So I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But, I'm sure uh, that's a compliment. I'm 100 percent sure that's a compliment. He even did the the like the the, the hot towel afterwards. Wow, and it was, you lucked out. I he did. could have ruined you. <laughs> that's right. It could have been <laughs> yeah. like Eastern Promises yeah. with, with your with your girl Naomi. Well, you know, it's funny. I uh, I used to go to hairdressing school to get my haircuts because it was free. free. Yeah. And they had to try. Like they were, it, if they don't do it right, they fail. Oh, that's so, smart, actually. Yeah, it's kind of like going to the new faces. They're like, if they don't knock it out of the park and be so funny, yeah, then they don't get a career after that. Is is comedy something that you'd like to do more of? Um. Are you saying, are you asking that? Because I'm so funny. Absolutely. Um, yeah, no, I, like. N- no, because you mentioned new faces. You mentioned just for laughs. Right, so. because, like, I love the comedy festival so much. Um, and, like, you know, yeah, sure. I don't know. I've never, I've never been brave enough. I like doing comedy movies. Like, I, and like I, I never feel more proud than when I make someone laugh, like a stranger, like yeah. who doesn't owe me anything. What a feeling, eh? You know? Yeah. Like you're like in line at the grocery store and like they just say something. Oh, Aravana, who's one of our regulars, says, Yay, made it in for the last <laughs> bit. Had a very good time at a steampunk festival fundraiser with good food. What kind of food do they serve at a steampunk festival? Yeah, we would like to follow up on that. Yeah, Aravana, please let us know. Um, I, I, you know, to 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 also wrap this into the heavy Montreal mm. backstage, they also have what's called Artist World. They do they do the same at Oceaga and Il Sonic, and it's uh, Chuck Hughes from Chuck's Day Off, the, mm. the TV show, and he caters. So there was like ribs and grilled octopus, and this the, was at the metal festival. Yeah, but it's only for the it's it's it's. It's not for the, the it's not un- for the commoners. Masses. Okay, yeah, exactly. okay. But so my like, my God, did I eat well? Oh, oh man, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Cause like, you know, I have to say, just for last has been better with the food oh, in the God, past. Yeah. I would say. I know it yeah. was like, uh, and and often I was interviewing the, the comedians, and one of the questions was, "What's what's the last meal you ate?" And they would be like, "Well, I had a couple of pieces of carrot from the dry bagel." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But yes. other than that, great job, guys. Step up yeah, your game like, really just for laughs. Really good festival. So Urbana um, said, I had, I had a, burger. a burger. There were salmon tacos. The chef is known for this pickled for his pickled products. I also had a cocktail with Hendrix, St. Germain, basil, and lemon. That I'm going to really make good. that when I get home. Yeah, me too. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. Um, well, thanks, Urbana. I'm, I'm glad you're sharing. Your, did you snap photos of them and, and put them on Instagram? Because that's what the kids do these that's days, That's what right? the kids do. Do you, uh, do you snap photos I'm the of the worst. Food? No, no, I've never no. snapped a photo of food ever. No, you're, you're not a social media... I hate it so much. Yeah. But um, I'm thinking of launching a whole new personality who likes it. <laughs> I, I, I've had to do that lately, uh, you know, to do things like this. Yeah. And it's, there's so much work involved. I know. You have to tag so many people. I have a friend have to... who's good at it. I think I might get her to do it on, like, payer and alcohol or something. <laughs> With Hendrix I'm gin and real and money. Lemonade. Yeah, and, like, a cocktail. Let's talk about some of your favorite movies. Okay. All right. So, uh, you sent me a list. Uh, the first one on here is Catch Me If You Can. Yeah, I think I watch it, like, at least once a year. Just okay. to keep sharp. So, this is, is it, it's Spielberg, right? 
No. No. Oh, I'm thinking of um, what's the Spielberg one? There, there were two that came out around the same time, but this is what was Leonardo the Spielberg Di one? Um, wait, are we sure it's not Spielberg? Is it? Catch, catch me if you can. Am I wrong? Or is it Clooney? It is Spielberg. It was? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. this is. Oh, going and all on. of a sudden this you're like Spielberg. A great Ew. Start. What a! T I've never heard of him. Uh, yeah. um, I'm sorry. Who? So Leo DiCaprio uh, and Gotcha. Yeah, that was Walken. a test. You passed. You all passed. Good job, guys. <laughs> he plays. It's and this is the true story of a guy who. Yes. It was like, Frank Abagnale. See, right. I remember that guy's name. <laughs> Just no respect oh, for behind the that, camera, apparently. What is that quote? The, the, it should be in here from Christopher Walken. The, what's what's, what's something the something Frank? Uh, uh, oh, oh, shit. Uh, that's vague. I know, but there's, there's a great Walken. quote. Two mice. But that's, Two, that's the clip. That's the clip. You I know send. what? We have the clip. That's it's, the clip I sent. Yeah, it's, it's a shitty quality Except one, but let's see it. It's not the one with Christopher Walken. It's when Leonardo DiCaprio is saying grace. Like, they're like, you're a Lutheran, right? And he's like, yeah. And they're like, <laughs> right. would you like to say grace? And he's like, Two mice fall into a bucket of cream. <laughs> what? What happened to the mouse, Frank? Uh, let's play that scene because this is the scene that Erica chose for uh, us to break down and watch. Directed by not Steven Spielberg. What's that? <laughs> let's start without picture in picture and then we'll come back to it and talk about how crappy the quality is. <laughs> Here you go. Catch me if you can. I actually shot this in a movie theater on my Dr. Connors, are you Lutheran? Yes, I, I am a Lutheran. But please, call me Frank. Frank, would you like to say grace? Unless you're not comfortable. Absolutely. Two little mice fell into a bucket of cream. The first mouse quickly gave up and drowned, but the second mouse, he struggled so hard that he eventually churned that cream into butter. And he walked out. Amen. 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 Oh, that was beautiful. The mouse, he churned that cream into butter. Oh. That's right. Oh. Thank you. Frank, have you decided which hospital you want to work at here in New Orleans? Well, um, to be quite honest, I'm thinking about getting back into law. Oh, my. Are you a doctor or a lawyer? Well, before I went to medical school, I passed the bar in California. I practiced law for one year, then I decided, why not try my hand at pediatrics? <laughs> oh, you're just full of surprises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my, a doctor and a lawyer. Well, I'd say that Brenda hit the jackpot. <laughs> Where did you go to law school? Uh, uh Berkeley. <gasps> oh, Berkeley, Berkeley. Oh my gosh, isn't that where you went, Daddy? Oh, so you know what I've always thought about this movie? You it's in some ways a bit like Forrest Gump. Although Forrest Gump was unwitting in his in, in, in his in his adventures. Right, like this guy meaningfully or like purposely gets into yes. these situations, whereas yeah. Forrest Gump accidentally does. Yeah, exactly. Or like lies, he lies his way through. Yeah, he, he <laughs> is 100% he is intentional. He's a shitty Forrest Gump. <laughs> he's, the, he's the asshole of Forrest he's Gump. He's the super intelligent <laughs> asshole Forrest Gump. But what a great movie, and yes, Steven Spielberg did direct. <laughs> I'm um, so embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> and what a performance by Christopher Walken. I'm uh, sorry. What, what's um, it? What are you going going on vacation to Tahiti or Hawaii? <laughs> yeah, anything he's in. I was like, I also I feel like I put in oh, parentheses Seven Psychopaths because like that's yeah. Sam Rockwell and Christopher Walken and Woody Harrelson. Oh wow! And which, like, which movie? It's called Seven Psychopaths, and I feel like nobody liked it, and right. I really I liked it. I Is thought it was it so funny. I always lumped it in with those movies. There was like, um, uh, uh, there was Smoking Aces and um, Get Shorty, and I think I always thought Seven Psychopaths. Yeah, like a gangster was type movie, but like it's not like it's music. stupid. Like it's like it's a stupid gangster movie. Like it's like Woody Harrelson's dog gets kidnapped, and like so he has to go, like kill people to get his dog back. Isn't that John Wick? Yeah, but funny. <laughs> funny, okay, right, exactly. Um, or, or Keanu. Did you ever see the movie Keanu? 
Uh, Speaking of can't, no, actually I did not. That was a great movie. Yeah, but I heard good things. Are you a fan of Jordan and Peele? Who isn't? Yeah. Because I, I love Key and Peele, but did you like, did you see both? Um, uh, I was going to say This Is Us. Sorry, Us and... Um, I only saw Get Out. Get Out. I haven't seen Us yet. Get Out is amazing. Us is good, but it's, you know, it's... I've heard, yeah, it's like, how are you going to top Get Out? Yeah, exactly. The best movie I've seen this year is Meds- Midsommar, by the way. Do you like horror movies? Sure. Oh, clearly I, not. Yeah, no, like, they, I, I don't know, sometimes they, like... Sometimes I'm like, what is this? And then other times I'm like scared for the rest of my life. So it's like, I'm scared of them. I highly scared recommend it. Movies. Okay, hold on. We're, okay. we're going back to this. So um, one I want to comment on, The Way Way Back. Yeah. Uh, so this is Sam Rockwell. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the name of the kid. Me too. Um, is that Who also cares? the one Steve Carell <laughs> yes, is the, he's the asshole. asshole? Yeah. Yeah. I love when Steve Carell is Which I'm like, asshole. that's so great. Yeah. Like, do that more. He's a yeah, great asshole. He really is. So this is the story of a kid who's like, he, he's dragged by his mom, I think, to, uh, to, to, to like their summer home and he gets a job at a, at a water park and Sam Rockwell is yes. the... That, it is such a fantastic so movie and very good. underrated. Oh, and you know who wrote it? Um, the Dean in Community. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's right. He's like a big... He's uh, a big deal. Yeah. Like, and he was in it. He yeah. was like... The bald guy, right? The bald guy. He's the bald guy. But um, what's his name? I forget his name. Oh, shit. Well, we could we could internet it. Someone (laughs) let us know. The The Dean. Dean. (laughs) That's such a great movie. Um, uh, And and it came out at the same time. There were two movies. I keep doing this on this episode, is comparing movies that came out at the same time. There was that and um, a movie with Miles... Miles Teller, the, the guy from Whiplash. Is, and oh, was, I was like, is it Whiplash? Uh, no, it was before that? It was, uh, it anybody? Was uh, fuck it. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, Closer, you mentioned before. Yeah, um, watched it with my parents. For Clive, a second time. What happened to Clive Owen? Why don't we see him anymore? I don't know him personally, so I haven't really gotten around to asking him. But maybe he's about to make a comeback. Maybe he'll watch this and go like, what? Happened to me. To me, That's right. a good question. I loved him in Sin City, one of my favorite movies. Sin City. Um, I, oh, I loved I him in remember. everything, and I remember there was a time uh, around the, the 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 first Bond or the first um, what's his name um, Daniel, Daniel Craig, Craig. Bond, yeah. where they were talking about who would be the next one, and I'm very excited about the the, the direction they're going with uh, James Bond. I love the idea of a black woman playing 007. Uh, and I would have been so into Idris Elba yeah. being 007, but Clive Owen would have made such a great James Bond. Maybe an 80-year-old Bond is yeah, next. I think he's, yeah. he's, he might be Maybe, a little old. Well, not now, but you know, like after they're done with their new girl, right. and then then maybe someone else, then Clive. Who knows? But I was watching a documentary about Bond, and um, you know, what's his face? Uh, the one before Daniel Craig. Oh, Pierce Brosnan? Yeah, yeah, the, obviously. <laughs> oh, do I have a good story about him? Oh, like personally, yeah. like you know him? <laughs> well, no, but I met him and, and it's... Was he it's... nice? He seems nice. I'll, I'll oh, talk. okay, okay. Yeah. We've, never mind. Um, but yeah, he like, he, he was supposed to play him before um, Timothy Bef- Dalton. Before Tim- Tim- Timothy Dalton. Oh, look at you. Roger Moore. Well, okay, I mean, I, I, there, there were like... The major ones were Sean Connery, Ma- Roger Moore. There was Lazy another guy who was I forget. Between those two, there was Timothy Dalton. Then there was um, um, Pierce Brosnan. So, okay, the, he was supposed to do the Timothy Dalton stint, right? But like his series that like no one watched and he hated got picked up. Remington Steele. Yeah, he didn't. Hate that. No, no, maybe he there was said something he hated after it. that. He was like, "We were canceled. I was going to be Bond," and then the phone rang. It was probably and... some show after that because Remington Steele was basically moonlighting, but. Like almost as cool. Oh, yeah. But okay, you want to hear my? Wrong. You want to hear my, my Pierce Brosnan yeah. story? So I was dating a girl, and uh, Pierce Brosnan was in town filming Grey Owl. I think that was the name of the movie. And um, we happened to be at Jello Bar, which I don't think exists anymore. And that was like a kind of a cool loungy place here in Montreal. And I went to order a drink, and all their drinks were like James Bond themed. And I ordered the drink, and the bartender said, actually, James Bond is just over there. I was like, Whoa. and he's like, no. And he pointed, and James Bond was, um, was like James in the bar. James Bond himself. Or, <laughs> Pierce Brosnan was playing pool with some people, and it ended up that some of my buddies ended up playing pool with him, and, and he was kind of hanging out with all these people. And then at one point, I'm talking to my buddy, and um, he looks over my shoulder and says, he says, uh, uh, James Bond is macking on your girlfriend. And I was like, 
excuse me? And I turn around, and she's sitting there like this, like, and, and he's just like all debonair like that. And I was like, what, what are you supposed to what do? What are you supposed to do with James Bond is... is nothing. And that, Absolutely that, nothing. Well, no, I, I went over, and uh, um, I, uh, I asked if he had um, a light for a cigarette. Just, you know, I was just trying to break into the conversation. Yeah, I don't, you don't smoke. I, I don't smoke. And uh, <laughs> I was like, excuse me, do you have a light? And he whipped out this like red thing that had all these gadgets and like it so was. So he is James he Bond. He is. And I said, where'd you get that? Did Q give it to you? <laughs> and I swear to God, he looked at me, looked at my girlfriend, shook his head, turned around and walked off. And I was like, that's how you do it. So you repelled Bond. I repelled Bond with a really bad joke. You're his joke. kryptonite. <laughs> That's right. And, and she went home you with me. You win! <laughs> All yeah. hail Eric. Uh, yeah. That's right. Um, so I was very proud that I, I outsmarted him. What? We have two minutes left. Okay, hold on. Gattaca. Gattaca! Yeah. What is it that you love about Gattaca? Uh, oh my God. In 30 seconds or less. Minutes, I know, right? Yeah. Um, am I going to win some sort of prize? Um... I don't know. It's original. It's a young Jude Law. Who doesn't like that? Um, it's like uh, smart sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Like it's not. It's not just space. It's like space with philosophy. Ooh, that's true. Yeah. Wow, I am selling this movie way better than I thought I would. Are you? Did, did you like the movie Contact? I didn't see it. Okay, but that's it's similar. <laughs> oh, okay. And then I should watch it then. There's also a really good movie, very underrated, from Danny Boyle called Sunshine. I think. Did any of you guys see that? That was that's also very smart science fiction. Okay, uh, cool. You know, in the in the realm of the, the of yesterday. Kind of, <laughs> did you see it? I did. And yeah, it's sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good though? Because I love Danny Boyle. It was cute. And I've heard, it was I've, cute. I've heard bad things. It was cute. Okay. It was like. You know what? You know what my problem with it was is like the, his romantic lead is like not a real woman. Like she's she's like I've been waiting here for twenty years for you to make a move on me. <laughs> and a real and like, woman would do what? Well, she would like, just make the move. Like come on, like twenty years? Fuck! Like get over it. Wait, did make you just a move. spoil something that twenty years goes by? Oh, no, 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 Thank no. You. Erica is awesome. <laughs> says Jesse. Who's Jesse Heroes? I don't know. We don't even know. Wow, look it's, at that. I thought Maybe I, I do. I maybe. thought maybe it's one Jesse of your friends. Jesse Heroes is going to be like, you do know me, <laughs> you bitch. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I know who Jesse Heroes is. Yes, Jesse. Yes. Um, okay, Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, I just like the debauchery. I like Leonardo DiCaprio, obviously. Um, and, uh, you know, Beth. Gattaca Irvana says, Beth's, best, best line in Gattaca was, that's the secret. I never saved anything for the trip back. Yeah. That's a great line, actually. Yeah. yeah. Too bad that didn't There's come up. There's a lot of good lines in Gattaca. You know, it's been a long time. It's underrated. I feel like no one's watched it. <laughs> it was Ethan Hawke, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I got to see that movie again. They met there. What, with Uma? Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, uh, well, and we all well, well, know how that's yeah. ended. Especially here in Montreal. Um, <laughs> Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah. With, with my boy Bradley. Yeah. Oh my God, was <laughs> you, that you? You see it now. Um, You do know me. Okay. Yes. Who's Jesse? What, your last name's Heroes? Would you like? <laughs> Jesse, you met him at Comic Con. Oh, hi. What's up, Jesse? <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, sorry, what are we talking about? Silver Linings Playbook. Right. Uh, like, I watched it again maybe like a couple months ago, and I was like, I forgot how good this is. Like, it's the dancing and David like the. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah that's true. Like, it's just like the subplot is like just as charming as everything else. And, and like, De Niro is, is underrated in that uh -huh. movie. I mean, not that De Niro is ever underrated. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, Jackie Weaver, like, great. She's, Weaver she's the mom. That's the actress? Or that's yeah, the, the, the actress. I'm trying to place her. Yeah. Jackie Weaver. She also happens to be in the five year engagement. So, my whole list is just like a six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Basically. Right, exactly. In five I year engagement. I played a game with myself. Which we talked about before, Jason Siegel. Um, although, I'm, I, I, I prefer, of my Jason Siegel movies, um, you prefer forgetting Sarah Marshall because you know you're a basic bitch. No. <laughs> no, my favorite is I Love You Man because uh, okay. the Hulk and Rush in the same, I mean, you know, let, yeah. talk about a big geek. I have my own issues with like, my, I Love You Man because like he doesn't pick up after his dog. <laughs> like, I, like after that, I was like, I can't watch this movie. <laughs> really? I, do, you, do you have a dog or you just... Well, I had dogs. Yeah. I just hate people who don't pick up after their dogs. Yeah, I was again. like, I can't watch a movie with this guy. I hate him. Really? I hate him. <laughs> Wait, was that the... Oh, no, it was Sarah Marshall where... Which is the movie where um, uh, 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 Paul Rudd um, has a dog named Woody Harrelson? No, is it Willie Nelson? Uh, Willie Nelson. He has a dog named Willie Nelson, and, and he's always... Is, and, 
I don't know. Oh, I don't want to guess because I'm scared I'm going to get it wrong again. We're getting the wrap it up <laughs> sign. Um, five year engagement. We should probably also talk about Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Right, right, right. Because Erica watched it after I mentioned that everyone who comes on the show needs to put that in their list. Of and favorites. I referenced it too. I was like, yeah. I feel like I need to Eternal Sunshine my whole move. It was so <laughs> stressful. And then you're like, oh my God, everyone loves that movie. I'm like, yeah, I've seen it too. I hadn't. So I went and watched it. And your take? Um, it was really, really good. You know what? It was really good. The like the only scene that really threw me off was when he was under the table, playing <laughs> himself when he was four. Oh. It threw me off. It just like seemed out of place. Other than that, great film. I just met the casting director who cast it. Really? She was on the panel, one of the panels at Just for Laughs. Amazing. So she's gonna put me in her next movie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she well, she not, might. You're she on your way. She did not offer me a job. Um, but yeah, we talked about it. I said, "Oh my god, I just watched it the other day." So <laughs> everything you said, I was like totally there. <laughs> well, I think I, you know what. I, there's a million things that I'd want to still talk about, so we'll just have to have you yeah, come on again. Yeah, we can talk. We can talk more in our lives too. <laughs> can you believe that an hour and a half went by? Like, like that, that. Yeah, yes. Exactly. I'm sure that's what everyone at home is feeling too. So <laughs> tell them where they can find you. So first of all, okay. Um, My uh, address is. <laughs> uh, but it's time to plug. So Office Games. Office Games coming out at Christmas. Uh, oh, yeah. And all the Christmas movies are coming out at Christmas. All the Christmas movies. All well, yeah. three, all two Well, all Christmas of movies. them that were made this year, with yeah. or without me. <laughs> are coming out in are Christmas. Are coming out at Christmas. Do you have a favorite Christmas movie? Like that I've been No, <laughs> like just of life. all Christmas movies. Um, Die Hard. Yes. Yes. That's exactly. Okay. Thank you. Die Hard is, uh, well, Elf and Die Hard, I think, are the two ultimate uh, Christmas movies. Well, they're if, basically the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, I do love Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell when he's serious in movies, too. Ooh. Uh, as what? Did you ever see Did Stranger ever Than Fiction? Like, this is over. This is <laughs> Stranger Than Fiction, no, I never saw it. That's a great Will Ferrell movie. Okay, we have to wrap it up. So how can people find you um, and what's coming up? Uh, okay, uh, Crave, you can find me on, uh, find me where, like exactly? Like Either on, on social or? media and social your media. movies. Okay, at Erica Deutschman is my Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one there. Cause, Spell it. Oh God, okay. E-R-I-C-A. D E U T S C H M A N. Mm -hmm. So it's not D O I G G H T. Doi. Right, exactly. <laughs> Fingerman. <laughs> um, and uh, and and what else? So socials. It's on Instagram. I don't do anything else. Okay, and, and you don't even like Instagram. <laughs> and, yeah, but follow so, her anyway. Yeah, follow me. Uh, I post office, once a month. Office Games, fantastic movie with a lot of great Montreal talent coming out That's in right. uh, in December. Correct. Uh, especially if you're a gamer, you should check out that movie. Um, and Christmas Crush. Chris, if you love Christmas Christmases. Coach. Yeah. Uh, really, and Christmas Crush. I know. I know. Coach. I have a brand. Mm. And um, you know. Ooh. And that, and and Radio Silence. And which Radio is Silence, Crave. which is out now. Okay. <gasps> yeah. And what's the name of the movie that you pitched that you won for? This? It's called, well, it's, it was called The Revamp. It might be changed to Revamped. Oh, okay. So somewhere in that realm. And because she's re, she's, she's a vampire. Revamping. Yeah, okay. So check out Revamp, Revamped. <laughs> when it, when it, it gets made and comes out. Right. And if you have any suggestions <laughs> for what could go in the script, you could write to Erica. Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow night. Uh, we got a cosplay cave coming up. All right. What's it? Do you cosplay? No. No. Okay, but if you did, what would you cosplay? I, I'm thinking the Hulk. You, I mean, you have the green. Uh, yeah, the yeah. Hulk. I'll okay. go with that. Me too. So catch us next. Catch us tomorrow when we dress up like the Hulk. And Rosie's guests are some people dressing up in costumes, <laughs> and they're very entertaining. Every week. Every week. Here's a hint. Next time, or maybe I should write it down. Uh, thank you all for being there, Ravana. Glad you could make it at the very end. Jazzy J, Mark Marin. Okay, I'll take it. He's funny. And Erica Deutschman, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>